What I'm going to do is modify the Fly Zone Sensei from the stock motor, which is okay. But if you really want to put a payload on it, it's not efficient enough. I went a step ahead and overkilled it, and I'm going with a G25 from Trinity. This is, I believe, equivalent to a was it 0.25 power 25 uh, motor, which is real nice. For me to do that, though, I had to replace the ESC. This is a 40 amp with a 50 amp burst rating. Um, I have a new fuselage that's why I don't have a cowl on front if you do have the original and you haven't done anything you can just uh, cut a strip down the middle and you're gonna have to cut around this glue where I have these straps there will be glue and it's a pain in the butt to get off but it can be done and you'll probably have some right on the uh, edges that's the first thing I'm gonna do is inside I don't know if you can see it there is these spacers I don't know, spacers or walls I'm gonna cut those out uh, it makes room for my new fuselage if you're just you can if you're not really upgrading your motor too big and you can use the stock ESC you probably don't even have to do this right here and we'll, do is we'll do a dry fit come on baby I always put the heat sink facing out so air rushing in can definitely cool it down she's going to fit I don't give you enough room to do shit. These will slide in here. And this will sit up like this. It's kind of, it'll sit like in a diagonal shape where you're speaking your motor wires for your motor will peeking out this there's a little lip there this kind of sits in a diagonal it's mine's big there's the wire so it's gonna go in just like that this feeds through the side which I get that freaking light there's a little cut in you probably might have to Cut it a little more. I kind of did it a little bit over here. Just make it a little bit easier. When it comes to fishing the wires through. This is heat numb before I go ahead and wire that through. This comes off real simple for those screws. I already took off most of mine. We're gonna remove the old mount because it ain't gonna, it's not gonna work for for the new motor. stay there all right so I'm gonna have to take off this because this will not fit it does not fit plus it's this is way too strong for that bracket <clears throat> so what I did is I actually had to get uh, I believe this is galvanized steel 
a millimeter or two. Ish millimeter maybe. Roughly. A millimeter thick. And uh, this is my mounting bracket. What's going to happen is I'm going to mount this onto the metal frame that's already on the Sensei. The square mounting system, whatever motor you do use. I really like this one. Mounts there, mounts there, and then this mounts onto that. Works real great. Doesn't have that much weight. And it's not like you will be able to tell. But to get this, because this doesn't just fit like this, let it cut out the corners and this will be sitting flush against this metal bracket. So. That's it's all that. Alright. Stop screwing around. You it'll take time. I already did this. And it takes some time. Because what you do is you're gonna have to remove this extra foam right here. It does not hurt the integrity of the aircraft. Oh, that was a nice one. It helps when you get a nice sharp blade too. And this already marked it. Sit just like this. It'll take you a little bit. But you'll, it'll take some time to play around, but you have to drill holes to mount the original mounts. So really, you kind of do some measurements, and then you take your bracket. And then that's how I got my, where my screw, screw, drill the holes for my new screws. And because my, I don't know, X mount is bigger. My X mount actually comes down the heel. I'm going to have to drill a hole there and on the other side. I like to dry fit this first. Make sure, make sure everything's in the right place before I go ahead and make my marks. Let me take a sharp north Actually, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and dry fit it real quick. I'll just use the, oh, two screws. One in each corner. Just to make sure everything's lined up to So when I go ahead and make my marks to drill into the actual other one because the mount this onto this, I use uh, some screws and bolts. That way I know it has enough oomph. So I'll go like that. This will go like this. The motor mounts onto that. I already got my pre-cuts. This, if you go this route, it all depends on the your motor. You can probably get power 10, power 15. Like I said, power 25 works great. Hobby King has it for 25 bucks. Can't really beat that.
my one, this one right here, just nix this corner. So I'll probably get the Dremel and just clean that corner up here. And my as well, depends on what bolts you use. This is a 964 bit. Hopefully my battery don't die. Wish I had. Oh, you know what? Son of a bitch, I should have kept this on. I'll use this not just as a template, but also hold my drill bit from sliding. Because. Figure out the best way to do this. It's been a while. There's no particular order. This is just how I've done it. What I like to do is just grab a little bit of this Loctite. Blue Loctite. Just in case. Shouldn't have a problem, but. Need a touch. This this be like this. This gets fed through here. Hooks up to the USC, of course. You all know that. Big business. All right. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and wire this through the firewall through this side. We'll get this situated, and we'll be rolling. You can use the same screws they gave you, or you can get a little better screws. I might use my other ones. I'm not sure yet. It's all pre that's all preference. And there are three millimeter screws. What length you like is up to you. Because there's really nothing going to... Put a probably inch screw in there if you really wanted to. I don't see need to, but you could if you want. Yeah, this is. We do take this off. All right. So I went ahead and fished it. Fed them both through that little firewall. And then while well, we're out there, we'll kind of scrape that up. Just scrape it up a little bit. So apparently, my tape's not sticking. That this way, so the hot glue has something to bond to. Oh, what is blast down there? have any problems. Except for getting it in there. Let's hold it. Seems pretty good. Pull that wire all the way through now. 
nice and taut. There we go. Alright, so we're going to try to wire this up. As you grab the motor. That's for later. And it's easier, at least for this, on this plate, if you go ahead and wire it up now, and then we'll swing the motor outwards. So we're just going to go ahead and stick them through. Long needle nose be efficient. There's one. spread that apart a little bit it ain't gonna hurt and I just fold this up like so because trying to do your leads while this is mounted is not gonna work so we'll go ahead and do is pop her in um, I had these screws where I originally did are they better shape they all suck. I was just putting it on styrofoam. I like to put a little Loctite on it. Just to help out. Because you do get vibrations and whatnot. And hasn't failed me yet. Never had this come off. So now what's going to happen? These are, oh, son of a bitch. I forgot to um, put my locker ring down. Whoops. So I just had to remount to my locker ring. I don't know. On there. So let's go ahead. What we're going to do here. So now this is going to be bolted to here. Not sure how we do that. Depending on your uh, motor mount and the length you want to use. This is what size bolt you're going to use. Of course, these ones came in a kit. Go ahead and I'll, I'll start them and then I'll dab some Loctite on them. Alright, so I went ahead and bolted these down. To mount the cowl, because the motor is so much more heavier than the other one, you actually have to remove all these. Um, let's see if I can get it in there. Remove every single one of these. Do that. Grab a screwdriver. This should work. They are glued in there, but they do come right out pretty good. Keep them if you like. These are great weights to counterbalance. And you're going to need two of them if you're using this motor. They actually attach to the tail. And that will give you enough balance with the battery in it. It's kind of going in. I'm not putting too much pressure. It's just they pop right off. It's not too bad. And another thing, if you use this motor, dry fit everything first. 
Um, if you can see it, mine's actually too wide. So what I have to do, freaking cord. This this part right here is too wide. Let's see if I can get a shot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is I'm actually gonna take about half of it away. Oh, that's in the way. My light. See? Uh, not too... Not too shabby. Now it gives me enough clearance for the um, motor to do its thing. Oh, shit. That's hot. For a cowl, I don't put, I don't leave, I don't use their glue. It sucks because you'll never ever get it off. So for this particular one or the ones you use, the original one and you cut down the middle, what I do is I'll fit it, I'll press it real good, and I'll put a bead of glue here, 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 and the same on the other side. That way, it has a nice clean look, and if I ever need to get this off to do anything to the motor, I just make a little cut where that glue is. Um, if you already cut down the middle because you had to get this off, you just put a bead of glue down there and then maybe one in the bottom corners. It holds it on. It's more cosmetic than anything, but I'll go ahead and wire this up and show you. Alright, I had to bring it downstairs because it's too big for that room. But I wanted to show you, there's the new motor. There's the lights. As well as I got green one on that side. Red one over there, and then of course, there it is. The flashing indicator light on the back. And all that was, if you're interested, I did run the wire in between the foam and then down the back, and I got Y adapters. And there. This is a three cell, 22 million battery. You can put a four cell, 26 I usually run in there. Um, the only problem is the top right here doesn't, it's so big that this sticks out just a little so you can't run with the top. But just to give you a quick demo of what this thing can do. With this particular motor I can run, uh, this is 11 by 11 by 8 prop. I can go up to a 14 by 8 if I choose to. But I was running 11 by 5 and that was plenty. Um, I decided I wanted to try 11 by 8 to see how that works. If you want to see it fly, I do have it up on RC plane flying with a hawk. It ends up in a crash. Um, at the end of that video, I do go into a wing stall. That's why I had to get a new <laughs> fuselage 
But um, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know, and I will try to answer them. Thank you for watching.